to do today. I have a couch full of laundry. The kitchen looks like a bomb hit it. Bathrooms, vacuuming. Yeah. So instead, I'm going to do a video and play with my crafting stuff. Because <laughs> that's how we roll, right? Procrastination. Gotta love it. I must have my table pushed up against my camera. Yep, because it wiggles. Oh, well. Um... A while back, I posted a video that said I was going to try to repurpose some of my old projects that I had made into new things. And I posted the video about the mini file folder thing that I had made years and years and years ago. I did find out that it was a silhouette cut file. Um, but anyways, and so I said I was going to redo that and put it in my quote journal. Fast forward a long time and I'm back to work on it again. So um, I did most of the distressing already on it. Nobody needs to see, see that. I had to refill my poor ink pad like a dozen times because it's really dry. <laughs> or the paper was really dry. Anyways, I, I used uh, Walnut Stain Distress Ink and um, yeah, like... I had a distressing party. Um, but so basically, um, it was this thing. And there used to be a bottom on it and, you know, a front. And then it was a, a mini file folder. Get it? Okay. Well, I, I don't have a use for it anymore. It used to it used to hold enamel dots and stuff, but I, I don't have a use for it anymore. It's 11 o'clock. Yeah, I forgot. Um, and so I thought I could just take it apart. And I love this paper. It's by Prima. It's old. It is the... Uh, printery, printery collection. This one. I love it. I mean, I, I have... I had the whole 12 by 12 that I, I've hoarded. I made a whole bunch of stuff out of the 12 by 12. I have boxes, file boxes that I made out of it that I still use because I just, it just is timeless. I just, it's one of their best, best ones. But anyways, I wanted to make it to go in my quote journal. Um, and I thought what I could do with it was just stick it in between a couple of pages, right? Like this. And then there'd be pockets and a and stuff with it. So it would just turn into a page in the in the journal. That's that's the plan. Um so that's what we're gonna do. Alright, so I'm going to work on the inside first, I think. It doesn't really matter because I'm basically just going to be recovering it. I'm going to make pockets. My fingers are a mess because I was distressing. There was a casualty of a tip of my nail. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but anyways, so I, I've already done a lot of prep work on this because it took some figuring. And again, I made the, I started this a couple months ago now. Um, but I figured it, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to make this exact same thing. I mean, I guess you could. The, the, I'll link the cut file that I got off the Silhouette website down below if you want to use it. Um, you can make it any size, you know, that kind of stuff. And But it's really just about repurposing old stuff. We all have those projects in our stash that we just had to make. It was so pretty, you know, or whatever it was. And then, you know, fast forward 10 years, it's still in your stash. D d not using it, but it's still there. <laughs> so I'm hoping to go through some of my old projects and either give them away if um, I'm just not 
going to in- give them life again by putting them out or reusing them or just reusing them. <laughs> so um, what my plan is, is this used to be like this, okay? Oh, it's dark. Sorry. Like this, okay? And so what I did was I creased it right down the middle. So now we've got this this flappy thing, which I guess if you were putting it into a, a bound journal, you could because you could have it like that. Um, but I'm, I'm not doing that. As you saw, mine's just going into a regular, regular, you know, a signature, signature. Um, so what I'm going to do is I just wanted to cover it. Um, I'm going to make pockets out of the inside. Uh, yeah. And so that's basically, I've cut out some of the papers and I, like I said, I've distressed everything and the plan is to just basically, I don't know why that one fits so weird. Um, but yeah, I cut out, I'm using just craft paper cause that's what I used on the inside. And then I'm going to make pockets that go like, oops, like this kind of thing. And I want to put some of this lace in here. So that's <clears throat> what we're going to work on. I have to decide first if I want the paper, the background paper on the spine like this. Or like this, I think under, under over. Yeah, over this, under this. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> my potatoes are kicking my butt. Need a drink. Um, anyway, so do you do you have those projects? in your stash that you just you had to make but now you're like what the heck am i gonna do with that oh i had a fangirl moment so y'all know i like to follow angela kerr on youtube and she actually left a comment on my on one of my videos and i was just like oh, oh my gosh i'm such a dork but i just love her stuff and if my stuff ever grew up, it would look like her stuff. <laughs> she just has a shabby chic way about her stuff that just makes me, oh, just love it. I just love it. Um, the other reason for covering all this is I have to reinforce this bend that was there already. We don't want it to bend anymore. But yeah, so that was like a, oh my gosh, moment, you know, but yeah, I just love her stuff. She, it's just, I like the colors that she uses and as much as I would like that to be my stuff, I never, I mean, I just clamor to the shabby chic stuff, but then I never end up making the shabby chic stuff it always still ends up looking like vintage grunge like this stuff <laughs> so i guess i just like to look at that but this is my, actually more of my style so yeah see i cut that really weird but i guess it doesn't really matter since it's going in the pocket but so odd um i think i just like wood tones but this this is what I really, really like is this gray, you know, the grays and the steels and woods and stuff. And, but anyways, oh my goodness. I, yeah, yeah, I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep too many things on my brain. Nothing bad. Just, just a lot. I want to do everything right now. Lots to do. <laughs> and then I got up this morning and checked YouTube and stumbled across decluttering and mim minimalized videos again. And every time I watch those, everybody in my house goes, oh shit. 
Because then I go through and I like, there goes everything. If you don't use it, you don't need it. And out it all goes. <laughs> I just, I have moments where I just, I can't handle another thing on the floor. It's just, I can't on the table, on the counter, on the drawers, whatever that is. I just, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. I can't, I can't do another, another day of it. And then, so things start to go. Come on, dry. I, I did the distressing last night cause I did it really thick and I was afraid it wouldn't be um, dry enough to glue to today. And I'm kind of doing scrappy papers because I didn't have enough, a long enough piece. I'm just using mostly scraps, to be honest. I, I'm, woo, hello. Because uh, I can't part with any of them, so I might as well make it into something pretty, right? But... Josh is making broth today, and then he gets the joy of cleaning his bathroom because it's gross and I'm not doing it. I don't, I don't understand guys. I, I don't understand guys. It, it's, uh, I can't wait for him to have his own house and realize that all those things that I keep telling him he has to do that he hates, he's gonna have to do them. <laughs> you got to clean it. And he shares the bathroom with the cats. So that's like a double whammy of yuck. And it, he just, it doesn't phase him at all that it's dirty. I don't know why, because 20 years of me nagging on him. <laughs> you would think he would be tired, if nothing else, tired of hearing me talk about it. But no. Oh my goodness. One minute, I'm freezing to death. The next minute, sweating. Then freezing, and then sweating. I've been informed. Welcome to that time of your life I guess I don't know I just I can't temperature regulate it all right now half the time I'm freezing the other half it's full body sweat <laughs> oh boy you guys all want to know that you got to hear about dirty bathrooms and my issues um Some of this I'm going to take inspiration from Stephanie and do her collaging, like ripping thing. Because I have a whole bunch of these scrappy thing, scrappy pieces, and then I'm going to make slides. And st I just want to make trinket stuff to go in the pockets. And so I thought I'd just like rip pieces of this apart and collage it over the, the top. This side must be smaller than this side. How weird. Whatever. Okay. Oh, I almost glued that down and I wanted to do the lace. So decision making. To, where's my... Put the lid on. Decision making time. So I really want to use this lace. All right. It's really old vintage lace and I just thought it would be pretty hanging out of the bottom of the pocket like that right but what I can't decide I'm not going to have it go all the way across I'm going to cut it there because otherwise it looks weird here and I should have thought of that before I glued that little piece on and then I could have just gone across but I think I'm going to just cut it um, but what I'm trying to decide is, let's do it this way. On the back, it'll be sticking out, right? Maybe. <laughs> I am 
not stunted. I can do it. All right, okay. Oh, get out of the way. So something like that, right? And that looks pretty, but on the out, for some reason on this side, it feels like it needs more, like a layer. And so I was thinking of putting this on top of it, all right? And then doing that. I just, I don't know why I think that looks more finished because the only thing that's gonna go on the front are these belly bands that I made with this type of tuck pocket type thing. I think it needs the extra layer, don't you? Yeah, I think so too. And even if it doesn't, it's too late because I'm gonna glue it down. How do you like those pickles? All right, so we're gonna go from here to here. And I'm just gonna try to get close. I'm not gonna worry about if it's exactly the right length. I can hear somebody crunching in there. Sophie! I can hear you eating clear across the house. I don't think she cares. Crunch, crunch. The house is so quiet. In the wintertime, it's so loud because we run fans and have the pellet stove going and stuff. And this winter, it's been crazy. 50s during the day, 40s, high 30s at night. That's just, it's just weird. I'm not liking it. All right, so we're gonna cut it here. And here, all right, so that's my extra there and there. And that'll go back into my goodie box because can't lose lace. I mean, it's I can't. 11, 15. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Okay. <sighs> what was it doing? Oh yeah. All right, so I think I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac to glue this down. My lava lamp. Blurp. Sound effects. Sound effects make it better. Like when you stand up and it's, ugh. How far did it go? All right. talking glue I'll we'll have to let this dry before I put the top on it so that whatever I stick in it doesn't stick because I'm a messy gluer <laughs> but been so proud of myself I've been my I got all on my head on my videos and keeping up with my posting and I'm catching up with my comments and YouTube is hard to catch up with comments I mean I know there's the comment thing but for some reason it's just difficult to um for me I wish there was like I don't know Oh, wait, I gotta, hold on, we got a ruffle. And then, speaking of Stephanie, she showed how she made her fabric rosette ruffle trim. 
and which was really cool by the way but I got snagged on gadgets and I saw her sewing machine and I don't need a sewing machine I have a sewing machine but hers was fancy and it was it had a swirly flower print on it and my brain went oh well I need that so I then proceeded to spend the next couple hours searching Amazon for sewing machines <laughs> that I don't need. But knowing me, I will probably buy it anyways. I found one and then the worst part about it is I don't know if it's even a good sewing machine or not. It's a brother like hers was and I see a lot of people using those um but I'm stuck on the fact that it's purple with flowers and because that's important right purple with flowers doesn't matter if it sews worth a darn just so it looks pretty while it's sitting on my table but it had like 185 stitches or something like that different stitches but then I'm like looking at this and I thought, what is that button there? And you can do letters, like embroidery letters. And I went, oh. Now I have absolutely no need for that, but, but it does letters. <laughs> oh, and then she showed that her sewing machine with a push of some little button or whatever um, threads her needle for her hello yes so I don't need it but that's probably gonna happen in my life because I don't need it but it was purple and it had buttons and 185 different options <laughs> that's bad you guys but that's that's how I that's I that's what I do Hey, you never know. Someday I could actually... No. No. Ah, <laughs> right? So, yep, on my save to buy it list is a now a sewing machine. So it has been added to the cart. A couple of them have been, actually. Because I don't know which one's best. But... I'll be honest, the purple one's going to happen. I'm probably just going to get a refurbished one because I don't need a brand new sewing machine. And they're warrantied by brother. And I loved my brother printers and label makers and all that. So it, it's got to be pretty good, right? So what do you think? Look good? Yeah, see, I like the, the layers. The other thing I forgot I was going to do is I was going to put put um so it'll be like maybe here we go yeah so that'll kind of pull pull together right um but anyway so that's If you guys ever go looking for a tabletop, boy, do I recommend this vinyl laminate. It's awesome. Cleans up, doesn't scratch. It's just glue doesn't stick to it. I was distressed staining and it didn't stick to it. And I just, I really like it. All right. So that's, that's that. So we're going to put the pocket on. Come back here. Here, like that. So, do you think it's too much to have? Too much. I could go across the top. I'm trying to get lace in my books. Can you tell? So, I could do something like. Decisions, decisions. So this is without.
and that's with. All right, I'm kind of thinking with, cause more is more, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me put the cap on here for a sec. I have to make sure I have enough for my belly, belly bands on the front, though, because that would be bad if I don't, since that's, that's really what I want to do. So one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, I got tons. Okay, so let's, let's over the top it, right? All right, what's the top here? This is the top. Ooh. But yeah, we're in the middle of our Mar week, first week of Mary's Mini. It's been really easy because I haven't had to cook and we've been eating really simple and it's just really nice to be reset for the new year. And I love potatoes, so if all I had to ever eat was potatoes, I'm okay. As much many foods as I have cooked over the last five years, and my, my Facebook page is, I think we're a couple thousand easily of meals that we've cooked, um, different recipes. Um... I, I still, my favorite's just reheated potatoes with salsa. <laughs> That's it. I like it simple. But like Josh, he has just a sweet potato for breakfast with salsa, or he puts um, cinnamon, cinnamon and stuff on them. You can do a little maple syrup if you want. It's really good. If you guys had sweet potato brownies, oh my goodness, yes, please. I love sweet potato brownies. Um, they're really easy. It's just sweet potatoes and um, cocoa powder and some sugar and bake it up. Um, one of the very first desserts I ever made after we went whole food plant-based was chickpea blondies. Because in my brain, I just could not imagine that you could make brownies, essentially, out of beans. Now I realize that beans are a holy bean, or chickpeas are a holy bean, <laughs> in the sense that you can do anything with a chickpea. <laughs> They are a wonder bean. Um, you can use the aquafaba, which is the water. If you When you cook them or buy canned beans, uh, the chickpea water. Well, you can use it with other, other beans, but mostly the chickpea water is used. You can use that. It froths up to make meringues. Um, you can use it as an egg replacement, a thickener, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's crazy. But I love chickpeas. I had never had chickpeas before I went whole food plant-based. We've, we've tried thousands of new foods that we'd never had before, ever, ever. Okay, so do I hook it down with this or with this? I think I'm going to do this. But... um seasonings i started out with mrs dash and salt table salt you know the white iodized salt um and now i have an entire wall of spices and seasonings sumac and black salt oh gosh black salt that's a wonder food makes the best egg salad It's delicious. I like to make it, put it in like frittatas and stuff. It makes it taste eggy. It's stinky. But it's nummy. 
But yeah, I think chickpea blondies was one of the very first things we tried that was just so out there in my thinking. And they're delicious. And they're still one of our very favorite. Um, our most go-to snack, though, is just peanut butter balls. It's just... Um, I use PB Fit. You can use ground, but PB Fit... Um, the organic... PB fit and now it's sugar free which that's awesome um it has 80 to 90 percent of the fat removed and so that's the one we use and you just rehydrate it with with us for its cashew milk and then you mix it with oats and roll it into balls and we keep it in the freezer refrigerator at all times because it's that perfect i need a sweet i need a snack um, so yep, yeah, right next to all the steamed potatoes that we keep in there are peanut butter balls. They're really good. Then you get your oats in, fiber. But. <laughs> I always find January really interesting because people focus so hard on you know, the resolutions, I'm going to lose weight this year, I'm going to get healthy, but their definition of getting healthy is to just lose weight. And so they don't focus on the rest of it. And then you when you narrow your vision down to just weight loss, it makes it really hard to succeed at it, because there's no give in that if you don't lose weight one week, it's a killer. And people are like, Oh, I don't let the number affect me. Oh, please. Yes, you do. If it didn't, then you wouldn't be trying to lose weight. Um, I got my ass ripped about that the other day. Somebody was like, you're just rude about people that are overweight. You should be more understanding. Dude, I was 427 pounds. I earned the right to not be understanding. So back off. But anyways, you know, I'm going to go on Weight Watchers or I'm going to go on XYZ diet or I'm going to lose 50 pounds this year and all that stuff. How about this? How about you lose the aches and the pains? How about you lose the not able to sleep good? How about you lose the heart disease, the diabetes, the cancer, the chronic illness? There's a list about the length of my arm. Why don't you focus on all of those things and the weight loss so that, okay, this week you didn't lose that much, but hey, your blood pressure dropped 10 points. See, now you've set yourself up for success. But that's not how the diet industry works. If you lose weight, all good things will happen to you. Like apparently at the end of the weight loss rainbow, there's a pot of life gold. And why wait to get your life back and your health back to lose the weight? You don't have to, it, it doesn't have to be one and then the other. You can do them at the same time. And so that's great to want to lose weight. But being overweight is a symptom of being sick. And so if you get well, the weight goes away. <laughs> but anyways, so it, you know everybody's everybody's on the diet. Everybody's going to start a new diet this this month. Everybody's, you know, count there's a guy at work. He's got all of his little portions of little shot drinks of protein shakes and his little, you know, he's allowed to have a salad but only this much. And then he follows up the day with uh, an entire, you know, two cans of Coke because it was Diet Coke. It's okay. You know, and stuff like that. So I don't understand it anymore. I remember the yo-yo. I don't think there's a diet I haven't tried. And there's some weird ass diets out there that I have tried. We just, we won't go in there. We won't go there. Okay, so what do you think? Yeah? But yeah, the first of the year always brings out the, I'm going to lose my 10 pounds people and which you know hey it used to be there I just don't have to do it anymore and you don't because if you're eating plant-based it's really hard to fuck it up it's it's really hard to relapse you know and one week of Mary's mini and you're back where you belong kind of thing and yeah it I mean I don't yeah but hey I don't know if I'm ready to do the front or not I think I can finish constructing this and then we'll come back in another video and do all the little tchotchkes that go in it. Does that sound like a good plan? 
Um, but yeah, and eat all you want. There's another, oh, the portions. The guy, because like I said, several of the guys of work are, are going to lose their middle, <laughs> middle age, my butt. They're all old. They're all old fogies. Midlife crisis crap. But um, so one of them, he's decided he's going to lift weights, which is really cool. But then he comes in and he has like these little tiny ass portions of food like <laughs> like this. And I would starve. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't go back. I just would starve. And I just couldn't go back to being hungry and fighting fighting that feeling. Because now when I'm hungry, I go get food. Hungry? Got the munchies? Go get food. <laughs> you need. You know, whole food, plant-based, eat all you want. Men are like, oh, well, that's not very much food. Oh my gosh, five years, people. Go look at my Facebook page. Five years. Every I have five years worth of weekly menus on there of different foods that we have eaten. What do you want? I'll help you convert it. Pick a favorite and let's let's turn it into a whole food plant-based recipe. I bet you we can do it. But yeah, I just I would I just and I don't eat a lot anyways, so but I just can't imagine portioning control. I can't imagine taking the time to count things anymore. It's like, oh I hated that. You know, where you have to weigh everything and measure everything and then load it into one of those calculator things so that, you know, there's all that. And I just, I would rather be crafting. All right, so we're gonna put this over the seam. Again, this seam here, which is under here, so that it, oh, hey, whew, no. See, you almost let me forget the lace. Oh, that have pissed me off like, I'd have ripped it off. That's what would have happened. I'd have ripped that sucker off. That's what would have happened. Okay, let's let's try this again. <laughs> but yeah, but you know, I I can't get people to try it. So I've kind of year of 2020 is you win. You win. I'll be here if you have questions, kind of thing. And the information's out there. The proof is out there. The science is out there. And, but I did figure out one thing for all these years. It's been, I just don't understand. I just don't understand, but I do understand people don't want to cook and people want convenience food, quick, fast, easy. And they also don't want the stigmatism they think comes from being plant-based because that leans vegan. And a lot of people are turned off by that, especially in my generation, because it's, it's like, ooh, hippie, you know, or tree hugger, you know, kind of kind of thing. And so I have finally figured out that the main reason that people, in my opinion, and it's just that, my opinion, is that people, A, don't want to give up convenience. They don't want to learn something new. They don't want to cook for themselves. They think they've earned the right to have takeout because after all they worked. No, you earned the right for health, not crap. Um... You're spending all of that money. You're working so hard on junk food that doesn't last. But anyways, um, the other thing is I, the people don't want to be labeled, you know, something like that, especially here in Montana. It's like a death sentence. You're, you, you're plant-based. Oh my God, what are you? You know, and, but I don't know. I'm a, I'm a healthy freak. <laughs> But without being a health nut, I don't focus on health. I focus on the food. You don't have to focus on the health. You don't have to learn about nutrition. You don't have to learn about anything. Really, just change food groups. But yeah, I, th I have found that that's the main reason around here, at least, that I think people don't want to even try it. Because they, they won't even try it. Uh, is that... There's a stigmatism with it, for one thing. Is stigmatism, is that the correct word? All of a sudden, that makes me think of vision. Like, you have a stigma, you know. What? St anyways, you know where people label you something. Um, okay, now let's, now let's glue this down. But, um, yeah. I don't know. 
Also, you know, being overweight and sick is a club. The guys actually sit around at work. I had my third stint. You've only had three? <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> I'd like to say I'm joking, but I'm not. <laughs> There. See, I like the lace. It's just way too much, and I love it. I probably should have just done it on the one side, but you know what? More is more. Because, see, I'm going to put my tag in like this. And I like that it hides that side, and I don't care. That's what we're doing. That's, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Thank you for your opinion, though. I really appreciate it. Um... But yeah, so, you know, I wish every time I see somebody post that they're going to start whatever thing, I always cheer them on because you know what? If that works for you, sister, you, you rock that plan. And I, with all my heart, hope that whatever you choose to do to get yourself in a healthier place, you, you do it because I, I really don't care what, what the plan is as long as at the end of the rainbow your health is good. Being skinny and still having high cholesterol and heart disease is not healthy. Skinny people die of heart disease every day. So whatever gets you healthy, I vote you do it. Whatever you think you can stick to for the rest of your life. I vote you do it because if you don't, if you can't stick to it, if this is a temporary thing to get you to one point, but not the end, it won't last. You have to decide I am going to do this for the rest of my life because as soon as you are not doing it anymore, yeah, that's what's going to happen. So like I said, I don't care. Whatever you want to do, what, what are you doing that you can do for the rest of your life to keep yourself healthy? And that's, that's pretty much, you know, as they say, if diets worked, we'd all be skinny and healthy. But no, I, I, I support everybody doing whatever they're doing. It's heartbreaking to watch, but you know, five years in all these people that have known I've been doing this for five years are still in the same health thing that they were five years ago. And I just want to go, please, please just try it. It's been five years. <laughs> still doing it. Still have all my weight off. Guys still have all their weight off. Still healthy. Child is still alive. Yeah, but... Like I said, no judgment, absolutely no judgment. I don't care. I just want you healthy and happy. It's That's how we'll survive the pandemic. It, the masks are great and whatever. I appreciate the people that think they're a good idea. The vaccine is great and I appreciate the people that think that's a good idea. Okay, no, I don't. I don't get it. But anyways, um, but if you have a good immunity and your immune system is healthy, you're going to be a lot better off. Do I hear you wandering in the hallway? Josh? I, I was just grabbing something real quick. <laughs> now you're on video. Yeah. Grabbing something real quick. Yeah. What are you grabbing real quick? Is the broth done? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, I'm almost done too. So anyways, they've heard me lecture for the last hour. They're probably done. So that's what we got done so far. I'm going to be back in the next video to decorate it. But so it, whoops, let's get out of the way here. This is the inside. This is the outside and it'll fold around and um, fit in my book. Boy, that lace really stands out, doesn't it? I could probably like, eh, well, I, I don't know. I kind of like it popping off the, <sighs> I 
We'll think about that. Okay, that'll be my ending question. I'm not going to vintage up the bottom lace, but should I should I should I distress up this lace? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Distress this lace or not? Darken it up a little bit or not? All right, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Get out there, be healthy, eat your veggies. Taters! Eat your taters. Broil it, put them in the air fryer or under the broiler. All you do is you take baked or steamed potatoes, cut them in half or whatever shape you like, slather them in a brown mustard and broil them. You are welcome. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. All right, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Uh, chickpea blondies, look that up too. I'm telling it's good. It sounds weird, but it's good. Bye.